Alright, Elite 789 here guys. I'm going to show you the legendary boss fight the warrior, which is also the end game boss fight. He's not secret because he's in the main story, but he does have a small secret location right here, down inside the lava, that has one of the developer chests, and gives you some pretty good stuff if you can make it down there. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to take down the warrior to show you uh, legendaries that you can get. He comes with some pretty good legendaries that he would be gotten. So, here we go. Oh no. Yeah. The only way that you can get out is going down there and dying. There's no way you can live. So yeah, rare, uh, that is very beautiful. different variety. So like you got some rare stuff, and then you got some other stuff. That wouldn't be that bad. It's just good stuff for whatever level, you yeah. know. But now is the time. Now it's dead time. <laughs> Okay, so there was a secret spot, and it will spawn you back all the way at the very beginning, so you're going to have to run through. But that's perfectly fine, because, you know, you've got some stuff. <laughs> and then, as you know, the warrior is just a little, a little farther down, and uh, some of the things that I know for sure that he drops is the volcanic sniper rifle. Uh, the conference call. I've seen him drop the North Fleet one time. Uh, that's about all he's ever dropped for me whenever I've killed him. Other people may have gotten something else, you know, they could say that I'm totally wrong, but those are things that I've seen with my own eyes that, you know, I know for sure that you can get. And I know with that North Fleet, it is like so, so small of a chance. Like, I've seriously grinded on this guy for. Because I, I really don't know. I've, I've just killed this guy so many times. I just used the B-Shield, and the un Unkempt Herald, that's mainly what I'm going to be using, because it's just so effective every single time, it's always effective. And this is where you want to stand, no matter what type of gun you're using, your bullets will always get there. chunk out of his house gone. Yeah, that did, didn't take long, so. This is our true bulk hunter. True bulk hunter. So there's, there's the unkempt herald right there.
and it's one of the pearlescent guns. I can't remember where I got it. I can't remember if something gave it to me or what, but I just, I just I'm seeing what I'm doing, just taking this guy down so fast compared to everything else. And this infinite it respawns its ammo back. I don't know how or why. This does. It didn't even do anything about Really awesome little gun, and it's T or so it goes flying, and spins around, and shoots stuff. It's, I think it's really good. Cool. And it works awesome with B shield. Maybe. Without it, there is like nothing. <laughs> legendaries like I said. It all depends on um, your luck for which one you get. But there's multiple, like I already see it sitting over there. I think that's the sniper rifle. And usually it's only one. I've, In my experience I've never seen more than one. So if you get more than one, you know, you've got like the best luck in Borderlands history. <laughs> And uh, I can't remember if it's just for campaign only, but if it is, you know, that's whatever. Nice. That's pretty good. But yeah, anyways, he drops the handsome Jack's mask skin also. That is beautiful. Yeah, just a fashionable volcano. Shoot for you in just a second. I'm just scavenging everything. Alright. This is the fashionable volcano. As you saw, I did like 15,000. Yeah, 15,517 damage. 96 accuracy. It's kind of slow fire rate with the alright reload speed. Six bullets in a bag for a sniper rifle. It's all right, you know. And it's got the red text and saying you request request a sacrifice if that's not too much trouble. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe it's just saying you know, get kills and you know and stuff. But the burn damage is really really good on this gun. It's got 3600. You know, that's it. I mean, I can't say that it's really good, but it's alright. So, you know, Molly one, rapid shooting. Okay. Oops, sorry. And that was with the B shield on, so let's let's put the height of Terramorphus on. It's not an amp shield. Alright, so even then. No, oh, 51 racks, boom, one shot, one kill, 49, 51, 51, and we're taking these guys down like nothing, these are fire-based creatures, one shot, one kill on fire-based creatures, so you know, that's, that's something right there that you, no doubt the sniper rifle is good, I don't know how little works in Ultimate Ball Hunter, if that's what you're going to try and use, use it for, Personally, I, I don't play Ultimate Ball Hunter very much on this character. I don't like the guns that I have. They're all legendary. I just don't really care this for them. This is the power of a siren. Not really sure why. Yeah. So, 
there you go, guys. That is that is the legendary boss fight, the warrior. And this is only just one of the guns that you can get. There are multiple things that you can get from this guy. Um, easy boss fight. He's easy mode. Even on a harder difficulty, easy mode. It just takes time. It's all about the time and the guns. If you got good guns, it won't take near as long. And as you saw, it was like uh, five minutes, I think. Five minutes at most. After it took. It's not a long boss fight, and you are almost always guaranteed a legendary weapon out of this one. So there you go. There you go, guys. Um, leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to this channel if you like the Borderlands 2 videos. I'm going to be doing some Dark Souls 2. You know, the new DLC came out. I'm not sure if it's going to be on PS3 or if it's going to be on the Xbox, but either way, message me and I will try and get you in for videos or, you know, we can do some PvP, things like that. Just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Lead out.